Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to solve create database permission denied in database master. Sometimes uh, we see the message database permission denied uh, in as Visual Studio 2010 uh, SQL Server integrated system. I will uh, teach you why it's happened, how to solve this problem. This is because your computer was in work group and after installing Visual Studio, you join your computer under a domain or your computer was in under domain and after installing Visual Studio, you joined your computer in work group. To solve this problem, first of all, join your computer in uh, work group or domain, then install Visual Studio. First of all, join computer in domain, then install. If you install before, if you uh, install, if you join, then install, uh, if you join at the domain, then install, then it will, it will be okay. Uh, if else, else it will not be okay and you will see the message get database permission denied in database master if, uh, so if already installed uninstall visual studio and install again see the video and practical and uh, the whole sql uh, server tutorial you can get in this channel start visual studio uh, go to the menu data then transact as sql editor new query connection uh, in the server name, say, server name ta text box, uh, put the dot slash backslash SQL express or your computer name uh, slash SQL express and the authentication windows authentication then connect. Now, now I'm going to show you how to see this message create database permission denied in database master create database my fast TV. See the message uh, to, see to create database permission denied in database master. Now I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. To, to solve this problem, change your domain name. Right click the com my computer and property, change setting. Uh, see the change, click on the change button. See, see that this is a uh, domain, my computer is in domain. Now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna join it in work group, home. Uh, you, can, uh, you can put it any, any name um, in the work group. If your computer in a local network and IP gateway already exists, then it it avoid to uh, to change the domain or work group. So first of all, from the uh, from this section, uh, you can erase the gateway and alternate DNS. Then click OK. Now you can change your work group or domain from the from this this section. Work group now just click OK. Before restarting, save any of them. It, it will need uh, to restart the computer. Then, after restarting, start Visual Studio again. Then, data TSQL editor, new query connection. Okay, it is connected. Now, create the database, and I think it will be successful. To creation, create database. My fast DB. It is the space with a space it will not support a space my fast test db just click execution and wait wait it's coming oh finally it's successful command completed successfully okay guys you can understand and see uh, how to thanks to see this video if you think is helpful please subscribe